What is up guys, Techlore here, and today I want to show everyone how to increase your storage, clean up, and optimize your jailbroken iDevice. I'll leave a link in the description for the same video, but for non-jailbroken users. I'll also leave a link with a video showing how to speed up your iDevice and increase your battery life. First, we're going to perform various steps that will clear up a lot of storage for your device, which can actually speed up your device as well. So the first step is to simply remove any applications you have no reason to use. Not only do applications use a lot of storage, but they can also use a lot of background processes which you do not even know are running. So simply a hold down on the app, press the X, and delete. I found that people had a lot of pictures and videos which were not needed or used. Just open up the Photos application, select an image or multiple images that you have no use to keep, and press delete to remove these unused images. You can perform backups of pictures using iCloud or other cloud storage to backup pictures before you delete them. Also, don't forget that in iOS 8, all your deleted photos go to the recently deleted folder. So make sure that you press select and delete all in this folder as well to remove the pictures. The next thing to do is to remove your old text messages. Text messages take up a lot more storage than people actually think they do. All you have to do is open up the Messages app, either press Edit and check multiple conversations, and press Delete, or you can just swipe and then press delete on a conversation. Another common place that people forget to look when it comes to storage is their voicemails and recent call list. So open the phone application and in the recents press edit, clear, and clear all recents. Next go to voicemail, delete any messages you have no use to keep, and then go to deleted messages, clear all. Now we're going to need a Cydia tweak called iCleaner Pro. Add this repo from Cydia and I'll also leave it in the description and then install iCleaner Pro for free from Cydia. Once installed, open up the application on the home screen and turn on all the settings on the front page except for custom files and folders. If you do not care about your message attachments, you can select Smart or On to clean them and if you do care about them, select Off. Press Clean and wait for this to finish. Since iCleaner Pro is a very complex program, I'll have a separate video explaining how to use it and how to clean even more storage. Click here on the scanner in the description. Next we're going to clear Safari history and website data. So open up settings, scroll down to Safari, and then scroll down until you see clear website history and data. Keep in mind that this will clear Safari web history, and if you want to keep your history, you should not do this step. This step is a very general step, and it is simply to just remove any tweaks you do not use anymore from Cydia. These tweaks can take up space, and they also run in the background without you knowing, so make sure to remove anything you do not use. This is another general step, and it's simply to open up the Voice Memos, Notes, and Reminders application and look for anything you have no reason to keep and delete it. Don't forget to plug in your phone to iTunes or remove any music you don't listen to anymore. This will only apply to people who use a third-party browser. If you use a third-party browser like Google Chrome, delete the web history and cache for that browser. Here are some of the most common browsers. Click on your browser to see how to clear the history, cookies, and cache for each separate application. If you're on a mobile device, I will leave all these links in the description as well. The very last step is to remove Apple stock apps pre-installed on iDevices such as HealthBook, Passbook, and Game Center. This is not an easy task and it is very time consuming, so I'll have another video for it here on the screen as well as in the description. All these steps will significantly increase the storage on your Apple device. Remember to check out my other videos showing how to increase battery life and speed on your mobile device. Thanks for watching, please like, comment, and subscribe if this video helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.